Hey guys, it's Lisa from Lisa's Busy Nerding. I'm here with another Cricut Design Space 2.0 video for the Cricut Explore Air. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload your own images. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to find the image you want to upload. Um, for me, I just found a pretty basic Avengers logo here. And what you're going to do is save the image and you want to save it somewhere that you can find easily. I'm just going to put it on my desktop to make it easy to find for uploading. It's downloaded so now I can go back to Cricut Design Space and just hit upload images. These are other images that I've uploaded before so those all ported when I um, downloaded Design Space 2.0 which is really nice but this is a new image so I'm going to hit upload. This is a single layer it's free and easy um, because there's not different colors so this is a nice easy way to practice uploading an image. You're going to hit browse and it shows you the different formats that are compatible Again, I was on the desktop, so I'll go back there, hit Avengers logo, and go through. Now it's going to show you what it looks like right here to make sure you've hit the right one. If you have high contrast colors, you go here. If it's moderately complex, you could go here. If it's super complex with different colors and shading and um, detailed lines, you're going to go here. But for me, this is a simple image, which is what we want to try this out, and hit continue. You can select on the areas of the image you want to erase and remove. So if there were different highlights or shadings that I wanted to get rid of, I could do that by selecting and erasing. Now you see it's just an outline of the Avengers, which is maybe what I wanted. Or maybe it's not. So then I can go back and undo those things. And bring it back to the full see if it's gonna go here. Okay. I don't know if it's gonna undo. Okay, well, let's go back and try again. Go to the simple image, continue. So it's easy enough just to backtrack one step if it's not quite what you were hoping it would look like. But this is pretty much exactly how I want it. You can crop it, you can select an erase like I did before, or you can erase sections of it if you want to clean things up a bit. And as you can see, you can zoom in and zoom out um, and all of those sorts of things. So you can hit continue when the image is the way that you want it. This is how I want it to look. This is the name that I have for it. I will just name it Avengers. You can tag it so you can find it easier later. And hit save. Once the image is uploaded completely, it will bring you back to this uploaded images library area. And you can hit insert images. Let's see if it'll pull up when I do this. Yep. So remember I saved it as superheroes and so here it is. This is, shows that I've uploaded this image. There are other superhero ones that I can do. Where this is uploaded, I can insert the image and I can put it on my project. I can adjust it and rotate it and do all of the things I could as if it were an image from the image library itself. You will notice that sometimes it will be uploaded um, a little bit differently. This is selected as a print so I would want to change that but I will show that in another video. That in a nutshell is how you upload an image to Cricut Design Space 2.0.